Hi guys, it's Colette, and today we're going to be working on this black and gold half moon with an extra bonus stripe of gold down the center. If you like nail art, be sure you subscribe to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures. And if you'd like to see how I did this design, just stay tuned. Starting out with clean, dry nails, I'm going to begin with a base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. The polishes that I'm using today are both Zoya, the black is called Willa, and this bright metallic gold is called Carrie. I'll be using Willa as my base color. So for the next step, I have a small to medium sized brush. This is one I picked up at Michael's, a little lid for my palette, and I'm just going to go ahead and dab out some of the gold. I was initially thinking of doing half moons, and then I was thinking of doing stripes, and then I decided to combine them and do both. So I hope this turns out okay. Um, I decided not to go with a striper brush because I wanted a slightly thicker line, but I'm just going to try and make sure I start in the middle of my nail and draw it on with as smooth of a stroke as possible. So kind of rest my hand on the desk here and just do it like that. That's not bad. I'm always a little bit disappointed in my freehand skills, but like I've said before, the only way to get better is to practice. If you uh, didn't want to take the risk of freehanding, you could certainly um, either start with a gold base, tape off a stripe down the middle, and then do the black, or do the black and then tape off the area in the middle. So then at the bottom here, I'm just going to add a little golden half moon like that and I'm gonna repeat that for all my nails Once you're done, you can of course go back and touch up any areas where you feel like you don't have enough gold, or if there's anywhere where you feel like you overdid it with the gold, you can go in and touch up with the black. I was doing my best to stay really neat, but I did have a little bit of cleanup that I did off camera. If you need to do any of that, just use a small brush and some polish remover. And then I'm going to finish everything off, as usual, with sesh feet. So here's the finished manicure, and I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. The lines are pretty straight and mostly centered, and the half moons didn't turn out too wonky. I know a lot of you will probably think this one, like last week's, is a little bit too dark for spring, but I like all nail polish all the time, including dark colors in spring and summer. So. I may revisit it eventually with some other colors with maybe just the stripe or just the half moon, but for right now, I'm happy with this. 
If you missed yesterday's video, I did announce my very first live stream it will be next weekend, Saturday, May 12th. You can check out that video for more information. It'll be linked at the end of this video as well as down in the information box. And I'm really looking forward to seeing any of you guys that can make the live stream and chatting with you. And if you can't make it, it will be uploaded to my YouTube channel a day or so after the fact. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And as always, thanks for watching.